This time on Makers and Shakers, we got What's Up for Trudeau, the top five video countdown tool of the week, relationship advice for makers and more. Check it. How are you doing? Welcome my friends to episode number six of Makers and Shakers, a show that highlights people shaking it up in the world of woodworking, art, metal, crafts, and building. Mm, man, I had a good week. Uh, so last weekend I was at WIA, that stands for Woodworking in America, that is put on by Popular Woodworking. Bunch of us YouTubers got a booth and I got to meet some cool people. I got to meet some cool YouTubers. I got to catch up with some cool YouTubers. Got to catch up with some cool people. It was awesome. I think the highlight of my week was seeing my new book. That was awesome. Plus all the cool people. So many cool people. Um, so uh, when I arrived, there was a box of my books waiting for me at the booth. And uh, it was the first time I got to see my book. I got one carton shipped over there and uh, that carton had 52 books and I sold all 52 uh, during the weekend. So that was, that was really, really good. So the official date, release date of the book was I think yesterday on the 30th. Amazon said it was shipping one to four months and it still says that. The publisher and distributor, they're working on uh, getting the inventory straightened out on Amazon. So if you want to order the book, it does say one to four months, but it's gonna ship way sooner than that. So um, hopefully it's gonna start shipping again by next Wednesday. Um, those of you who pre-ordered, you should be getting your books in the mail uh, anytime now. If you bought the book, please leave an honest review on Amazon because that, that helps you know, uh, rank my book uh, appropriately in the Amazon rankings. Oh, and just so you know, I'm going to sell about uh, 25 to 30 copies on my website. Um, and then once those are gone, I'm gonna direct everybody to Amazon or the publisher because I don't want to get into the shipping game. Shipping shipping kind of sucks, right? And I'm also going to sell the eight boxes that I made in here uh, on my website too. So I don't have, a, this is the only book I have right now. I don't have, I don't have the carton here yet. So as soon as I get, uh, as soon as I receive the box of books, I'm going to announce when those books will be on sale, uh, a date and a time. And those, the ones that I sell on my website will be signed and it'll be first come first serve. Um, so uh, just follow me on Twitter and Facebook and I will let everybody know when they will go on sale. So hopefully in the next week or so. All right, enough about me and my book. It is time for this week's top five video countdown. Coming in at number five, we have Writing Desk by Words and Wood. Mm. I thought it might make things a bit more interesting and less like a plain plywood top. So after drawing that arch, I'm first making a whole bunch of relief cuts and then I'm cutting out the curve on the small bandsaw. And Getting glue spread evenly in all the holes can be a bit finicky, but it's very important. The dowels that I, I think the results are still gonna be pretty slick. So the first coat really raised the grain and I went over the whole thing with 150 grit. And so in closing here is just a couple of close-up shots of the finished desk and thanks for coming by and we'll see you next a time. A very nice, simple, elegant look. I love it. It's got dowels and pocket hole joinery. Good stuff. Hmm. Number four, we have Sitting Bench by Sean Rubino. I love that he shows the sketches and also refines the look and the shape after testing it out. It's really good stuff, good stuff. I got to meet Sean over the weekend. He is a good dude, a real good dude. Coming in at number three, the Tassie Oak TV unit by Paul Jenkins. I started by cross-cutting the long board to a rough length for the long and short apron rails. Both leg assemblies were glued at the same time, but nothing else. If I was to glue all the rails and face frame together all at the same time, it would be almost impossible to get the height's not overly important, or the thickness isn't overly important. Uh, they're just going to be chunky enough to screw the draw slides into. Typically, I brush on the poly and thin at 10 to 20%, so it flows a little bit better off the brush and levels better. 
and they don't really have to support any weight. The real strength's coming from the mortise and tendon into the legs. Ah, really well explained video, and I just love the, 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 the big, beautiful TV cat. Looks awesome. Good job, Paul. Number two, Spirit of the Woods Jewelry Boxes by KRT Wood. Spirit of the Woods is a have series a of jewelry boxes that I make. Each one comes out differently because it's based on using unique pieces of wood. But what if I didn't have access to those kinds of boards? What if all I had was one by and two by lumber from the home center? Getting the drawer fronts applied with even spacing takes a lot of fussing. With Abner, I have to work from the top and bottom towards the center, which complicates matters. Bruce gets a mix of stain and paint, while I just get out of Abner's way and let the grain do the talking. In the end, it's not about which came out better or how different they appear. The process seems similar, but the experience of building them was very different. I love how he's showing the two builds side by side. You got the, the fancy live edge and then the, the cheaper home center wood. So good stuff and just gorgeous boxes. Mm, 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 mm. Coming in at number one, a serving tray by Maurice Block. Holy cow, that is just beautiful. Oh, I love his editing style. I love his work. It's just so good. I also love his shop. Oh, love that channel. Please check out that channel. All right. All of these videos are in a playlist down below along with a bunch of extra videos not shown. So please check that out. Before we get into the next segment, I'd like to remind you that you can support this show by contributing on Patreon. One dollar a month is all I ask and that gets you advanced viewings of my videos as well as an ad-free and extended version of this episode each week. That's right, only Patreon supporters get an extended version of this show. And uh, so there are different tiers on Patreon and I, I believe it's the $10 tier. Uh, if you sign up for that tier, you will get your name and your channel broadcast on the show. So if you have a uh, YouTube channel or a Facebook page or a website that you would like to promote, sign up on Patreon and I will just broadcast it out to all of you. It is time for the Amazon tool of the week. Every week I show you a tool that I personally use and provide you an Amazon link to that tool. Purchasing anything on Amazon through the provided link helps support this show. And this week's tool is the Ellipse P100 Dusk Mask. This is the dusk mask that I use in all my videos. Um, I I used to have this big honky 3M one and it's, it's I like look at it's way bigger. Um, so I find the ellipse is more comfortable. Uh, it's smaller, it looks better, and uh, I just I just like it. So it's got uh, replaceable filter cartridges on there, which I've never replaced mine, so I need to do that soon. But that is this week's tool of the week. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. Up next, we got relationship advice for makers, and it is sponsored by Jord watches. Check this out. Take a look at this. The wood that they use in their watches is 100% natural. There are no stains or coloring of any kind. Uh, it is a sweat proof, splash proof finish. Uh, you, it's like a tongue oil, linseed mix. Um, this particular design is one of my favorites, but they have a ton to choose from on their website. I've been wearing this for about three weeks and I love it. I love it. I wore it to WIA last weekend and so many people came up to me and were like, hey, I saw the watch in the video. Can I take a look at it? And so people were trying it on and taking a look. It's ah, really, really, really happy with it. Um, there is a link down below where you can check out their website. Please use that link. And if you buy a watch for them, tell them I sent you. That helps me out. It helps them out. They're cool people. I think I'm cool people. You can support cool people. Have I said cool people enough? Um, so yes, 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 yes. Uh, so once again, 
lots of beautiful designs on their website. This one happens to be my favorite. I went for the, the very simple one. So please check it out. Check that out. Uh, men's and women's on their on their site. So please check that out. Thanks to Jordan for making this show possible. It means a lot. So mm. earlier this week on Facebook and Twitter, I asked you to ask me for relationship advice. Here we go again. Is it better to ask for permission or for forgiveness from your wife when buying new tools? Toby, it is the job of your spouse to forgive you. I'm ready to buy a saw stop. How do I let my old table saw down easy? It's not you, it's me. I like turtles. Not sure my wife does. What should I do about my turtle obsession? How do I talk her into butt stuff? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I met someone at the home center and fell in love. She's 12 foot long, two by six, and has the most amazing curly grain I've ever seen in Redwood. How do I tell my wife I brought her home and she's living in the shop? A three way? Maybe some butt stuff? How do I manage my relationship with my vacuum system? It seems to suck. Don't stick your dick in the vacuum. Please tell my wife, that I do need an impact driver, a new table saw, and a drill press. And another beer please, darling. Maybe if you get your own beer, she'll let you. How can I explain to my wife the benefits of softwood? Believe me, she prefers softwood over your hardwood. If you are new to the show, please subscribe as I also put out how-to videos here on YouTube and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and Periscope. On my website, you will find even more tutorials as well as plans, project kits, stickers, t-shirts, and more. And if that isn't enough, I also make a weekly audio podcast with my man Jimmy D'Aresta and Bob Cleggett. And this week we talk all about our experience at woodworking in America. Patreon members, be sure to stick around for your extra content. Please check out my new book. There'll be a link down below. That is it, folks. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.